Now to do a question like this, you've obviously got to draw a sketch. So I've just copied down basically the sketch that we're given. And we're told then that we've got this particle P of mass 4 kilograms and it's moving up a fixed rough plane at a constant speed of 16 meters per second. So I'd want to put that on that we're moving up the plane okay, at a constant speed of 16 meters per second. And because it's a constant speed, the acceleration, which we'll denote by an acceleration arrow, must be 0 meters per second per second. And we're also told that it's acted upon by this force of magnitude 36 newtons, which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the slope of the plane. It's going up a rough plane and the coefficient of friction between P and the plane is mu. And we've got to find out the magnitude of the normal reaction between P and the plane. So we need to mark on some forces here. That normal reaction will be a force acting perpendicular to the plane, which I'm going to call R newtons. Okay. We've got the weight of the particle. We're told that the particle is a mass of 4 kilograms, so therefore the weight of the particle acts downwards and it would have a value of 4 g newtons, okay, mg. What else have we got? Well, because it's a rough plane, then the particle's moving up the plane, there's friction. Friction always opposes motion, so it's going to act down the plane. And it would have reached its limiting value, F lim if you like, okay? And when you have friction reaching its limiting value, it's always equal to mu r, mu being the coefficient of friction. So we'll mark that in that that frictional force is mu r newtons. Okay, well now we've got all the forces acting on the particle. It's just a case of how are we going to get our value r. Well, this is a typical kind of problem where we need to consider resolving, resolving perpendicular to the plane. So we need to think of drawing, a, say, a dotted line in there. And in the usual way, this angle that the weight here makes with this line here is exactly the same as the angle of the plane just by basic geometry. Okay, so we said we're going to resolve perpendicular to the plane. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with resolving. If not, just check it out on my website. Look under splitting forces or resolving and you should find tutorials on that. Okay, so we're going to resolve away from the plane. We're essentially looking at the resultant force away from the plane. And because that resultant force is keeping this particle in relative equilibrium in this direction, that resultant force must be equal to zero. So let's start working our way around the forces, okay? Now, all of R acts in this direction. So we can say that we've got R and then if we take this frictional force, well that's perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving in, this direction here. And perpendicular forces have no effect, so we can forget about that force. Let's take the weight now. Now the weight, we can see not all of it is acting on this line here, in this direction. We need to split it into two components. And those components will be one down the plane and one into the plane. The one down the plane will be perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving in, so we don't need to consider that. But the one into the plane, we need to consider. It's going to be minus because it's in the opposite direction to what we're resolving. And it will be minus 4g cosine 30 degrees. It's cosine because it includes the angle. Remember, when you include an angle, it's always cosine. So it's 4g cos 30. Okay, 4g cos 30 degrees there. So that's the weight done. We've now got this force of 36 newtons. And again, this force doesn't 
act on this line here. So we need to split it into two components and those components will be one up the plane and one in this direction away from the plane. The one up the plane we don't need to worry about because it's perpendicular to this direction. But the one out from the plane we do need to consider. It doesn't contain the angle of 30 degrees in this right angle so it becomes sine of 30 degrees. 36 sine 30 degrees and it's acting in the positive sense that direction. So it's going to be plus 36 sine of 30 degrees. And there's our resultant force acting on the particle then in that direction away from the plane. And we know it's in relative equilibrium in that direction. It's not accelerating in that direction. So that resultant force will equal zero. So it's just a question now of rearranging this for R. R will it be equal to 4G cos 30 degrees minus the 36 sine of 30 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode and just work this out. If you do, you should find that you get 15.9481 and so on. And if we round this, say, to, let's say, three significant figures, it's going to be 15.9 newtons to 3SF, or you could say to one decimal place. Okay, so that gets us our normal reaction then between P and the plane.